It's now been two and a half weeks since a Northwest Dallas home exploded, killing a 12-year-old girl. Since the explosion, many families have been living without gas service to their homes while Atmos repairs natural gas lines in that area. Fox Sports Lori Brown <coughs> is there in a, on a Spolola Drive with the story. Lori. Steve Atmos has been accused of being far too reactive initially with a home explosion and then a gas-related fire with little to no action before the deadly home explosion happened here. But now Atmos crews have been working around the clock doing what some say should have happened sooner. At the end of the day, I think we're all, you know, very happy to have some peace of mind that the inf infrastructure will be switched out. Whitney Johnson has been without natural gas for heat, hot water, and stovetop cooking since March 1st, six days after the explosion that killed 12-year-old Michelita Rogers. And that was an extremely tense week, obviously, because there were the fires on the same street before that, and then the explosion happened, and, you know, all of us were kind of on edge but she considers herself one of the fortunate ones. If I were on the other side of the imaginary line, one house over, I would be really stressed. Johnson still does not know how many more days she'll have to rely on a slow cooker and microwave to cook her meals. Atmos isn't providing a lot of information. I think the hardest thing at this point is really not knowing when the end is. If they haven't started on our alley yet, and so we really have no idea when it's gonna be turned back on. But Atmos is providing something perhaps more valuable than that information, money. I think they've overcompensated me. For that, Joyce Easton doesn't mind the many days without gas. Instead of using the Atmos compensation for a hotel, we found many people writing things out and saving the money. It was sort of fun to try to uh, make do. <laughs> to get your water heated up some way and to cook without worrying. One night it was very cold. But it is all too late for the Rogers family. Many wonder when any of this would have been done if someone had not lost their life in the second explosion in the neighborhood. And they hope there will not be another one somewhere else. With um, the little girl that was killed, you know, that's, that's a huge um, weight on all of us. Atmos originally told residents that they hope to get the ba gas back on by next Thursday. The company is not saying today if they are still on track to meet that deadline. Steve. Okay, Lori Brown, Northwest Dallas, thanks.